Hello students, you are watching IGCSA Physics Past Paper Solution Series and I hope all would be fine. So let's start the lesson of the day. The topic I selected for today is uh, density of solids. Now look at this question. This is uh, October, November 2015 series. The question is a student wishes to determine the density of the block shown. And uh, we have four options you can see here. First, you need to know what is the definition of density. Density is equals to mass per unit volume. It means for the calculation of density, you need two things, mass and volume of that object. Look at this diagram. It's a solid block. How to calculate its volume? Look at this uh, base area, which is shaded. So volume of this block will be area times height. So if uh, mass divided by this volume will be the density of this block. Now move on to the options. The first one, the area of shaded face and the volume of the block. In this option, we don't have mass, so this is uh, not our right answer. Second, the area of shaded face and the weight of the block, we don't have mass here, cross this one. The mass of the block, it's okay, and height of the block, but we don't have volume here, cross this one also. The mass of the block and the volume of the block, uh, both we have. So this is the right answer. This question from October, November 2018 series. A liquid has a volume of 0 0.40 cubic meter and mass of 30,000 gram. What is the density of the liquid? And you have four options. First, you should know about how to calculate the density. Look at this equation. For the density, you need two things, mass and volume. So this is the volume and this is the mass, but volume in SI unit, but mass is not in the SI unit. So first you need to change the mass gram to kilogram. This is the conversion. 30,000 gram divided by 1,000 gives you mass in kg. That is 30 kilogram. Now put the numbers. The mass is 30 kg. Volume is 0 0.040. Divide the numbers. Then you get 750 kilogram per cubic meter. Now look at the options. 750. Option C is the right answer. This question is from May, June 2016 series. The question is, a student wish to determine the density of an irregularly shaped stone. First, he finds the mass of the stone. Next, he lowers the stone into measuring cylinder containing water. The diagram shows the measuring cylinder before and after the stone is lowered into it. How should the student calculate the density of the stone? And you have four options here. First thing, you are going to find density of an object, but it has irregular shape. So this is the method used to finding the density of irregular shaped object. First, you need to know what will be the equation. For the density, we need mass of that object and its volume. Now look at this first diagram. Uh, first of all, you will read this uh, volume of the water without a stone. Look at this height. Suppose this volume is V1. When he lowered the stone into the measuring cylinder, the water level rises up to this level and he records the new volume, suppose V2. This new volume is greater than the previous one. So the difference between the water level will be the volume of a stone. 
so you can write the volume as reading to minus reading one finally you can write the density is equals to mass over reading to minus reading one in option a mass of stone into reading two that is not correct because there is a multiplication and option b mass of a stone into reading two minus reading one again we have multiplication that is not correct option c mass of a stone divided by reading two only that's wrong in d mass of a stone divided by reading two minus reading one that is the right answer so option d is the correct answer now this question from may june 2019 series the question is the diagrams show four solid blocks with their dimensions and masses which block has the greatest density once again we are going to calculate the density again you need to its equation so density is equal to mass of that object divided by its volume now if you look at the diagrams in all diagram we have two things mass in grams and volume we have area and height so here you will calculate the volume by using this equation area times height so let's check with the first one diagram a the density is mass over volume will be the mass is 14 gram volume is area times height means 10 into 2 you get 20 14 over 20 finally we get 0.7 grams cubic centimeter for diagram b the mass is 48 the volume is you know area times height 20 into 2 we get 48 over 40 divide these numbers then we get 1.2 so that is the density of this block 1 by 2 grams cubic centimeter for block c the mass is 54 the volume you need area into height 10 into 2 54 over 20 divide these numbers then you get 2.7 gram cubic centimeter for object d the mass is 68 the volume area times height 20 into 2 54 over 40 divide these numbers you get 1.4 grams per cubic centimeter so what was the question which block has the greatest density if you look at the answer a is 0.7 b has 1.2 c has 2.7 d has 1.4 so option c is the correct answer thank you for listening keep watching physics fist up there for better results in exam wish you good luck share this video subscribe to channel press the bell icon for the latest videos keep watching physics with safdar